This is Yuli. Welcome to carguide.ph. And what we have here is GAC Motor Philippines' first electrified offering, the MCU Hybrid. It's been a long time coming for the MCU Hybrid. This vehicle was actually previewed last April at the Manila International Auto Show. But with the excise tax now benefiting hybrids as well, Astara Philippines, the distributor of GAC in the country, has finally launched it. The price is about 1.698 million, and that makes it one of the most affordable full hybrids in the country. What I like about this vehicle is that it's every bit as futuristic as the ICE version of the MCU. In fact, I would have to say that the electrified powertrain suits this design better. At the front, you get the same seamless looking grille. And the only difference is for you eagle eye readers or viewers out there would be the badge. As you can notice, there's this blue halo badge and that's similar to the treatment that you would get with other hybrid car manufacturers out there. LED headlights remain standard. Towards the side, you still get the same design for the 19-inch alloy wheels. At 19 inches in diameter, it's actually one of the largest in the segment the seamless design of the roof rail that integrates all the way to the rear spoiler is still there and of course the trademark feature of the mku the flush door handles and these actually retract when the car is locked now we're going to be heading to the back to show you how it looks like as well now at the back you get the same batarang looking taillight design right here the absence of the rear wiper it makes the car a lot more dramatic and futuristic, but I don't know how it will fare during the rainy weather that we get lately. Again, this is where the spoiler actually terminates. If you notice, it's integrated into the roof rails. Very futuristic. And when you open the trunk, it reveals this large boot. Now, this is all our camera equipment and laptops and all that. And if you notice, it's actually for the, for the sloping roof line, the trunk space is actually quite good. I have to say beneath it now we're going to be checking for the first time I'm going to show whether it's got a spare tire or a tire inflator Ooh, unique to the MCU hybrid is that it's got a spare tire you get none of that BS uh, tire inflator package it's got actually a T-type spare so a lot more confidence if you plan to take this car on a long trip and long trips is what this car does best According to GAC, and we could pretty much uh, confirm it with our drive, the range of this car is about a thousand kilometers. So imagine being able to drive to Baguio all the way to a place like Ilocos Norte on just one full tank. It's no problem with the MCU Hybrid. Now we're going to be stepping inside to show you just how it looks like. Now inside the MCU Hybrid just takes over the features and design that you would get from the top of the line ICE M Cool. So we got the large infotainment screen right here in the middle, a floating style gauge cluster right here. The difference being the graphics are a bit different, of course, because it shows you what the hybrid system is doing. Leather seats are still standard, panoramic sunroof, the nice toggle style gear selector right here, wireless charger and the floating style center console where you can put stuff right here and the hidden cylinder door handle mechanism right here so those are the unique stuff ambient lighting is still there and this is one of the more unique things about the m cool but it might be a hit or miss depending on you would be controls that are hidden in the dashboard like this one this actually adjusts your temperature it's a bit weird it's a bit different it's a bit unique but it's every bit M cool, right? Futuristic. Now we're gonna be stepping to the back to show you just how spacious it is. The surprising bit about the M cool hybrid is just the flat rear floor. So this would mean an uninterrupted space right here for three passengers. So there's no fighting for available knee room. And even if you do find yourself seating beside three large adults, this is the amount of knee room that you get. It is large for a compact size SUV, probably in the realm of or in the in the space occupied by a mid-sized SUV. You get things like rear air con vents, a USB charger right here. In fact, I would have to say the only thing missing right here would be a center armrest. But that's all forgivable because at least the rear seats are actually reclinable as well. So you can adjust it for additional comfort. 
right here or you can actually fold it flat in a 60 40 split to give you more cargo space we've been driving the jc m2 hybrid from makati we're now here at galax and i have to say that during the presentation earlier when we were briefed about the product they were mentioning that the futuristic look of the vehicle seems to suit this electrified uh, powertrain i have to agree uh, simply because if you don't like the roughness of the dual clutch that the regular m2 turbo would have this one doesn't have it so it has a two liter atk strong hybrid engine so it's not it's not any of that mild hybrid bs <laughs> it's um, a real hybrid it's a real hybrid so the engine itself is two liter atkinson cycle 140 horsepower electric motors 180 combined it's about 230 ish which is almost like fast suv territory uh, i think the exact number is 233 yeah 233 something. yeah and then the torque is 300 newton meter so what i like about it is that it feels very effortless uh yeah when you're driving it in the city, the electric torque gives you instant, uh, the, the electric motor's instant torque would deliver that instant oomph of, of uh, acceleration. Same thing with the highway. Um, unlike other mild hybrids out there, the engine and the electric motor can actually act in unison to kind of like give the temporary boost in performance. Okay, you have to do the quick computation now. So we've traveled 32 kilometers so far from Makati and we're now in Kalax. And the fuel efficiency, I'd say 10% city, 90% highway, 100 divided by 4.8. We're now clocking in at 20.83 kilometers per liter. Yeah, the 20.83, 20 uh, 20 it's still a bit lower than GAC's own 22.1 figure, 22.1 kilometer per liter figure. But remember, that figure was done with a combination of city and highway driving. Now, with most hybrids, or in fact, all hybrids, they're more fuel efficient when you drive them in the city. So yeah. I can imagine that with this car, once we hit traffic, I mean, goodness, I hope not. <laughs> if you do hit traffic, I can imagine that the fuel efficiency would just go up even higher than what it's registering right now. Yeah. Based on the figures we're seeing here, it's actually I'd say it's actually good. It's it's on the 20 kilometer per liter region for a car this size. That's that's good. You're absolutely right on that one, Nick. And <laughs> since I'm driving right now and you're the passenger, I could really tell you that compared to the other strong hybrids that I've driven so far, I won't mention brands, but the other strong hybrids out there, um, the combination of its larger displacement engine plus stronger electric motor makes everything feel smoother. The, the You don't feel any of the transitionary moments. You don't feel the engine kicking in or the electric motor taking over and all that. It's all one seamless delivery of power. And what I like about it, it feels so comfortable. Again, very yeah. matching to the yeah. character of the car. So is the m Hybrid a worthy addition to the Philippine market? Well, that's up to you. Personally, for me, I would think so because an additional electrified offering means fewer tailpipe emissions, which means cleaner air. Now, with the price difference, a huge price difference, to be honest with you, compared to the ICE, the MQ Hybrid may not be for everyone. But ultimately, that depends on your driving. With a mileage that's about triple that of a, the ICE version of the MQ, this could be the perfect choice for those who would do a lot of city driving. For those who do a lot more highway driving, maybe the 1.5 liter turbo is for you. The best part is that GAC is offering you the choice. Now, we will get to a more thorough review of this vehicle and if you do want it, you can actually comment below and we'll try to get our hands on this as quick as possible. But for now, we hope you enjoyed our first look at the MQ Hybrid.